Good morning. Continuing in Psalm 73, thinking about love and failure, but wrestling with how the psalmist Asaph is wrestling. We saw him wrestle. We saw him guard his lips in the midst of wrestling and uh, being honest with God, but guarding his lips with others. And we saw him recalibrate and begin to recalibrate himself through worship. Now we're going to see another step. Verse 18. Truly you set them. Now this is after he's encountered God in worship and has realized the big story of the end of the wicked. Truly you set them in slippery places, talking about the wicked. Uh, you make them fall to ruin. How they are destroyed in a moment, swept away utterly by terrors, like a dream when one awakes. O oh Lord, when you rouse yourself, you despise them as phantoms. When my soul was embittered, when I was pricked in heart, he's reflecting on what he was like when, before he encountered God in worship, he says, when, when I was embittered, my soul was embittered, when I was pricked in heart, verse 22, I was brutish and ignorant. I was like a, like a beast toward you. There's our third step. Guard your, midst of wrestling, guard your lips. Seek to encounter God in a worshipful encounter that gives you a picture of the big story. And third, confess. Confess. Part of his arriving at a recalibration of perspective is the acknowledgement of what he was like when he was wrestling. He steps back and looks and says, listen, I, 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 was, I was brutish. I, I, was, I was ignorant. Think about that idea of ignorant. It reminds me of Job. You know, Job wrestles with God. And Job gets to the end. And he says, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm paraphrasing. But he basically says, I got way out over my skis. And I started saying stuff that I didn't know even what I was talking about. See, God has a, a big meta story. And once you get recalibrated to that meta story, you're going to go, wait a minute. Maybe I, maybe I didn't know. Maybe my griping, complaining, moaning, and groaning about issues in my life were more born from my ignorance and my lack of knowledge than they were born from my knowledge at all. That confession is important because it's not just an acknowledgement that I didn't know in some way what I was talking about, but rather it's a, it's a confession that I got out over my skis and I need to be careful here and not write checks with my complaints that my knowledge can't cash. That confession is important. So I encourage you, um, as you wrestle with God and as you process through that wrestling and as you get to a place where you're beginning to accept what God has, has done and is doing in your life, be reminded that you owe the Lord a confession, a confession about times when you have uh, quibbled with Him in your ignorance, right? That's important because I think that recognition sets you up to be able to process more adequately what it is that God is doing and how his love lands in the midst of your failures and disappointments. May the Lord give you insight and direction in this. Have a great day.